riches, comfort. So, a close <gasps> oh! <sighs> Dreaming about her again? It's not funny, Alara. These dreams feel so real. And this one ended in a way I did not like at all. Hmm, no happy ending this time? What a shame. Kadek, you keep dreaming about a woman you don't even know. It's probably a combination of that barmaid you couldn't keep your eyes off of and a piece of undigested boar meat. Well, rotten boar meat would explain the ending. Let's get some sleep. We need to be at the Fountain of Alicia by morning. I tell you, Alara, there was something about that dream. It may have been some kind of omen. You're being paranoid. I'm being cautious. If something's waiting for us, it's best to be prepared. You worry too much. And you don't worry enough. Worrying gets you nothing but wrinkles, old man. Old man? <laughs> You're twice my age, elf. And half as mature. Hmm, and ten times prettier. There. The entrance to the fountain is just across that bridge. So it is. What do you say we go make a fortune, girl? The wizard who hired us said this job was a cakewalk. Keep your bow up. I don't like this. Mm, no way up. You'll have to shoot that rope out. That should drop the ramp. There's something out there. Pilar, get up here. Looks like somebody lost some arrows. Better pick them up. There! A rankling crawler! Big ones. Hungry, too. You're not helping, Alara. You know how I feel about bugs. I... I hate a ratlings. They're just bugs, Kadok. And I don't like bugs. <laughs> Looks like someone helped us out by knocking over this tree. Let's use it. Use your sword, Alara. You can't shoot a path through overgrowth. That wasn't so bad now, was it? I'll let you know. 
Once my skin stops crawling. In the meantime, fill your flask, girl. Mm. All the mana water our client could ask for. Burning blood of the goddess. Elara, look here. I know that door. I saw it in my dream. It's an omen, Elara. We have to see what's in there. You know me. I'm always happy to open strange doors with screaming faces carved above them. Heavy. Better give me a hand opening it. Get over here and help me, Alara, before more crawlers show up. <laughs> Alara, over here. I think we can squeeze through. Stay sharp, girl. No telling what's down here. Your dream promised riches. It also promised a demon. Don't tell me you're afraid of demons as well as bugs. I'm not afraid of bugs, just concerned by them. Hmm, a man could retire to a place like this. You can retire when you're dead. No, you can't. Stranger yet, it's the stone from my dream. Interesting. What is that? At last our paths have crossed, warrior. You? From my vision? Yes. My name is Seraphim. And those visions are a foretelling of the riches and power I can provide you. I told you, Alara, it was much more than just a dream. Wait, this is your dream girl? I'd say she looks <laughs> promising. Let us start with a favor. What do you need? Besides a little sun. There's no need for your snarky nature, Huntress, for what I require is quite simple. All I ask is for you to pick up the Death Stone before you. Pick it up? A Death Stone? The stone goes far beyond such literal nonsense. It has many powers. It allows me to channel the energy of certain crystals into its bearers. Collect these crystals and present them to me, and I can grant you powers beyond your wildest dreams. And where do we find these crystals? They lie scattered throughout the realm. Their capabilities forgotten to all but a few, so... pick it up. But... It's a death stone, next to a dead body. Oh, you must trust me. Time is not eternal and I need your aid. I am bound to the death stone, an artifact that stands between the living and the- Elara, no! listening to me. He knows. He knows you have bonded with the stone. He is coming for you.
protecting against the weakest of powers that seek to keep you from leaving with stones. Heed my warning when I say you will fall with stronger forces. Escape where you are able and meet me outside of time. Try setting that on fire. If we be adventurers... I'll take up front. I've got your back. Skeletons? Don't these poor souls know they're dead? I guess it's up to us. Not Sight. I think that worm thing was pulling both our legs. Now, now. A death spirit wouldn't linger in this world just to lie to us.
One tree comes. Never know what's lurking in it. There! That must be the axe! Indeed. Now, if only there were a way to reach it. Patience. for this. I'm afraid the danger that lies ahead is graver than I had foreseen. However, I can grant you the gift of the Dragon's Breath. An energy force of tremendous power. Without the proper crystals, the power will only be temporary, I'm afraid. But it may aid you in surviving the ancient battleground that lies ahead.
Come on. With pleasure. your eyes, Kadik. Your dream girl nearly got us killed. You're jumping to conclusions, girl. Well, there must be a very simple explanation. Besides, I'd like to at least hear her out. It's not like we've any other promise of paying work at hand. Look! Oh, well done. I am impressed. You have proven yourself to be quite heroic. We're not heroes. <laughs> heroes or not, you have earned the power I promised you. Hand me the crystals. First things first, Seraphine. My partner here has a trust issue. You told us to pick up that Death Stone, and when we did, all hell broke loose. This is not about trust, warrior. It is about listening to what I say. I told you to pick up the Death Stone, not the... How should I say? Non-human one. However, the damage is done, and we will have to make the best of it. Now please, hand me the crystals.
You must admit, that's amazing. As is the price, I wager. A wager you would lose, Huntress. You see, I am the daughter of the Lord Mayor of Dyford below you. All I ask is you seek out my father and speak with him. Dyford is in need of your skills, and my father will pay you well for your efforts. That's it? Find your father and talk to him? Yes. And the one you spoke of before, the one who tried to stop our taking the stone? He has lost you for now. And should he find you again, well, with my power, you will find yourselves better suited to stand against him. All right. We'll talk to your father then. Thank you. Though when you speak to him, I ask you, do not mention our encounter or my troubles. Why not? My poor father has enough to worry about with his town crumbling around him. As you wish. We'll not mention you. Excellent. Then I will see you both below. Well then, on to Dyford. Fine, but mark my words. Your little dream girl is going to become a huge nightmare.